Hi guys, this is Joe again from London Sound Production, uh, hitting you up with another tutorial. And this time on converting WAV file formats to the Apple Loops format, uh, which is Apple's own sort of loop style. Okay, first of all, I'm going to start by selecting a sample. And it's going to be this hip hop loop I've got here. And what I'm going to do is have it highlighted and go to audio and go open in Apple Loops Utility. Uh, it'll ask you to set the loop length, but it's pretty good at finding it itself. And um, we've got a four bar loop. So I'm going to go use set length. And then this separate program, Apple Loops Utility, will open up. And what I'm, gonna, what I'm first going to do is select looping. Because uh, with non-looping selects, selected, it doesn't find the transients. So I'm going to set looping uh, so it finds all the transients. So it recognizes it as a loop. Uh, you can turn up the sensitivity if you like, but I think it's pretty good at selecting it as it is. So I'm going to go back now and keep the number number of beats as it is because it's a four bar loop which means 16 beats um if you're doing some sort of instrument loop then you can select uh the key you want it to be in and also the scale type but as this is a drum loop i'm going to leave that alone uh time signature yeah 4 4 and you can insert a load of information here so because it's my loop, I'm going to do LDN sound. Uh, copyright, I'm just going to put the year. And you can add a comment if you like. I'm just going to add a little comment. Cool. Uh, next section down, separate from the, the property tags, is the search tags. And because this is a hip hop beat, I'm gonna put it under the tag urban because Apple Loops uh, search search facilities are pretty limited. Uh, I'm just gonna change that to a proper spelling. So yeah, it comes under urban because it's a hip hop loop, and I'm gonna do that for all these search options. And the instrument here, I'm just going to go drums and drum kit because it's a full drum loop. And that just when it comes to searching it, uh, if you search urban or, or drums or drum kit, it will just find it easier under, under its appropriate bit. Uh, the descriptors are sort of like when you're searching through Apple Loops, uh, you want a particular feel for the the loop that you've got. So I'm just going to select some of these descriptors um, and choose the descriptors that you think your loop sounds the most like. There's no right or wrong answer here. It's just what you feel the loop is like. Uh, you can set the tempo as well down here and also boost the volume if your sample isn't loud enough. But again, it's, it's found that it's a 97 BPM loop. So I'm going to leave that and just go to save as. I'll bring down this little drop down menu. I'm going to give it an appropriate title. And hit save. Right, cool. I'm going to get rid of this u loops utility now. Get rid of my original file. Find the loop on my desktop. There we go. I just drag it into the loop section. As it is. Now you can run a search. So I'm going to have a little look. Search by genre, urban. And I'm going to find one of the. Loop, uh, one of the descriptors that I saved it as. Go electric. 
here's all the options under urban electric. And here we go. There's the sample I saved. And all it is from here is a matter of dragging it in. Uh, now, one of the advantages of using Apple Loops is that it sort of automatically time stretches the loop. So if you speed up the tempo or slow it down, uh, the loop will set, uh, change relative to the tempo that you set it as. So thanks for watching. This is this was Joe from London Sound Productions. And for more tutorials, check out youtube.com forward slash LDN Sound Production. And thanks for watching.